investigate incidents like this. While I understand the need for the public to have information as quickly as possible, it's critically important that this process be able to unfold in a thoughtful and thorough manner. I'm asking the public for patience while we wait for the facts to come out. I am not going to prejudge the decisions of the police officers involved without the facts, despite pressure to do so. There's considerable public interest in this officer involved shooting and for good reason. According to one witness at the scene, the shooting happened quickly. I don't know what happened between the time the officers arrived on the scene and when the shooting took place. That has not been established yet. That will be one focus of the current investigation. Again, I ask the public for patience in waiting for the facts to come out. Mr. Hendrickson was known to some in the Portland Police Bureau. On two previous occasions, Portland police officers successfully de-escalated Mr. Hendrickson when he appeared to be in crisis. It's unknown at this time why this particular situation ended differently. All of us, including Mr. Hendrickson's family, the officers involved in the community at large, wish it had ended differently. I have no doubt of that. But it didn't. And now it's our obligation to be as thorough as possible to find out why and to report back to the community what we learned. By the time shots were fired on Sunday, there had already been multiple system failures, in my opinion. I feel quite strongly that the mental health system failed Mr. Henderson. I agree with Chief Outlaw on this point. As mayor, I don't have any direct control over the mental health system, but I have a voice, and I believe it's my responsibility to work with state and county mental health authorities to find ways to improve our mental health safety net. I've already met with the Behavioral Health Director, Steve Allen from the Oregon Health Authority, and Ebony Clark, who's the Interim Director of Multnomah County's Mental Health and Addiction Services, to offer whatever I can offer to assist in their sincere efforts to strengthen our mental health system. This is truly a sad situation for all of us in Portland. It's a tragedy. We must do better for those in crisis on our streets, the men and women who serve in our police bureau who are all too often called upon to resolve very complex social issues, and the community at large who expect us to protect the most vulnerable in our community. I take these charges very seriously. I don't have all the answers, but when we do, we'll share them with the media and the public. I will commit to the people of this city that I will do everything in my power to help vulnerable people in our community get access to the services they need. Thank you.